Once upon a time, there was a man named Jack, who had always been interested in philosophy. One day, he came across a book that had a saying that intrigued him. I think, therefore I am. Jack was confused by what it meant, so he decided to ask his friend Tom, who was a philosophy professor. Tom explained to Jack that the saying was coined by a philosopher named René Descartes, who believed that the only thing that he could be sure of was his own existence. Descartes argued that even if someone doubted everything else, they could not doubt their own existence because they were the ones doing the doubting. This realization led Descartes to the conclusion that the only thing he could truly know for certain was that he existed. Jack was fascinated by this idea, and he spent the next few days pondering it. One morning, he woke up and decided to test it out for himself. He closed his eyes and tried to doubt everything around him, including his own body. But no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't shake the feeling that he existed. As he opened his eyes, Jack realized that Descartes was right. He thought, and therefore he existed. From that moment on, Jack became more interested in philosophy and started reading more books on the subject. Over time, Jack began to apply the principles of philosophy to his everyday life. He began to question his own beliefs and assumptions, and he even started to challenge the beliefs of those around him. Although some people found him a bit strange, Jack felt like he was finally living a life that was worth living. And so, thanks to Descartes' famous saying, Jack learned that the only thing he could be sure of was his own existence. But more importantly, he learned that by questioning his own beliefs and assumptions, he could live a more fulfilling and meaningful life.